until that is breaking the news with the gossip is putting out there. And I'm saying share, share, share. Last night, Savannah Christian Preparatory School, which is a private school, also plays Savannah Country Day, another private school. They play at Savannah Country Day. What happened on last night, approximately 40 students from Benedictine, from BC, they came over to Benedictine Condes. What then happens is that they are there in the game. And again, Savannah Christian has a number of African-American players on their team. So they're making monkey noises inside the gym to the African-American players for Savannah Christian. Because one parent said to me that it was a riot. The police officer who was supposed to be there to protect and serve and make sure that everyone was protected in the environment, he allowed the Savannah Christian players to go out the tunnel or got the door that they were supposed to go out, but then allow those Benedictine cadets to not leave out the same door who had already been taunting these young men. So when they get out there, they, they are now assaulting and battering African-American males. And they have to now basically try to defend themselves against a horde of people from Benedictine Academy or Benedictine School. And then um, they were calling them the N-word also, calling them the N-word, but they also went and spat on them. And then they took it to another level. They went and spat on the Caucasian coach for Savannah Christian. So, and then also from a report, one person said to me, that also called him an N-lover. Guess what? The officer does nothing about it. The officer is Caucasian, and the officer, he actually tried to blame the African-American uh, athletes. And now we need to start a hashtag or start a campaign to tell folks to boycott B.C.